Hello everyone and uh, welcome to re-entry. In this video we will be performing a rendezvous uh, burn to uh, catch up and uh, match our orbit with a target vehicle. Uh, in the map view here you will notice uh, two uh, uh, dots that kind of travels in the direction of the orbit. The red dot is Gemini and the uh, blue dot is Agena. And uh, in this video, I will be performing a burn that will uh, take the red dot on a trajectory towards the blue dot, which basically will cause a rendezvous between, uh, uh, between Gemini and the Agena target vehicle. So the first thing that we'll need to do in a rendezvous burn is to make sure that uh, we are in a circular orbit. So if I now go into my map here, you can see that my orbit is 121.9 nautical miles of altitude and a perigee of 121.8 nautical miles of altitude. So my uh, orbit is very circular and my inclination is 28.91 degrees. Uh, so the other requirement, uh, in addition to being in a circular orbit, is that you're in the same plane as the target orbit. And you can see that the target orbit is at 160.9 nautical miles of altitude and a circular orbit and an inclination of 28.91. So what uh, we will need to do now is to figure out the burn that will make our burn uh, get on a trajectory that will make our apogee be the same as our target orbit and when we reach apogee, we will need to be there at the exact same time that the target vehicle is at that apogee. So we will need to figure out how to basically reach Agena. Now there's a burn that you can do to do this. And if I go into the spacecraft here, I will need to first make sure that I'm in the catch-up mode on the computer. Uh, we are performing a catch-up burn and uh, we'll also make sure that the computer isn't loading and we will go ahead and request a burn. And to do that, you go into mission tools. Uh, I'll open the maneuver pad and then I'll request a rendezvous burn. Roger, DCS. Now I should now have uh, received the burn uh, from ground that will uh, take me on a trajectory that will meet Agena at the exact, uh, an exact altitude and at an exact time. So I will now go ahead and enter the pad. So this is a rendezvous burn and uh, I'll be using jets and the OBC for guidance. And uh, my burn takes place at uh, 14 hours into the mission and uh, 35 minutes and 56 seconds. Uh, 0.51. And uh, the direction of the burn is going to be prograde, so X uh, 68.9. Then uh, we will go ahead and uh, verify that everything is uh, right in the computer. So uh, core one. 15 hours and 35 minutes, core 2, uh, 56.51 uh, seconds, 25 is 68.9, 26 should be 0, and 27 should be 0. And um, now uh, we know that the OBC got uh, everything that it needs to um, calculate the burn. So then I can go ahead and hit start and the IVIs will show me the delta V vector relative to my current orientation. Uh, 
and the computer is illuminating green. Uh, if malfish something that you will need, then you will need to make sure that you go through the data, uh, verify that the time of ignition is not in the past, and then hit start again to recalculate. Now, uh, everything that's left to do is to wait. So I'll go ahead and set my event timer to uh, 20 minutes. So then I'm going to uh, first decrease the event timer to uh, 20 minutes and the tenths of a second to zero and then two to zero. And then uh, it's in standby and I want the uh, in stop, I mean, <laughs> increase one. And I want the direction to be in the downwards direction. Okay, now uh, everything that we need to do is to wait. So uh, first of all, I'm going to uh, go to my external view here. And we're about three hours away. And uh, if you now take a look at our two you can see that since I'm in a lower orbit, uh, I will need to kind of fly faster to not fall down to Earth relative to a vehicle that's in a higher orbit. So since my orbit is lower, I will slowly catch up with the target vehicle. So you can see that the angle between the two crafts are slowly reducing as they go through the orbit. Uh, now, I'm going to um, use core 83 uh, slightly, just to time scale very fast. Until I'm about 20 minutes uh, ahead. There we go. And I'm going to open up my checklist, and I'm going to perform the uh, pre-rendezvous checklist. So and hit run. Uh, the first thing that it wants me to do is to set the radar to standby and verify that we're in a circular uh, orbit. And then it wants me to request a rendezvous burn and verify that everything is uh, set up correctly with the course. And this is something that we've already done. And then uh, set the event timer to 10. And I'll go ahead and do that myself. For videos, I typically uh, set it to 20 just to make sure that I have enough time. But 10 uh, is what I used in the checklists. And it should be in standby. Computer uh, is clear. 83. Then match 83 with our event timer. Uh, we want to be in sharp and forward, uh, which we are, and our attitude mode uh, or control should be set to platform. This means that the OBC is in control. Uh, you could also, of course, do this uh, manually. And then uh, the next thing that it now waits me to do is to reach uh, zero. Uh, then I'll go ahead and use the event timer here, or the core to start my event timer at 10 minutes, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 10 minutes left to ignition. And once the IVI is, uh, once the event timer is at zero, we are going to uh, zero out the IVIs and we should be on a trajectory towards the target vehicle. So I'll use time scale to about a minute before ignition. Leaves us some time to adjust if there's anything that needs to be taken care of. Uh, what I want to do is to make sure that most of our burn is in the uh, forward direction. And since I know that this is a prograde burn, and if I'm in a prograde attitude, uh, then I will uh, need to perform most of the burn in, in one direction. And this can be seen on the IVIs. Everything will need to be done in the forward direction because the burn vector is almost perfectly aligned with the attitude of the spacecraft. So we're 30 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. So I will need to now burn uh, everything in the forward direction. And uh, you can see that my orbit now is closely moving up towards the uh, apogee of the target orbit. And by the end of this burn, they should be quite similar. Twenty feet per second uh, left. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. And since this is missing a uh, last digit, you can always uh, use the map view to make uh, everything uh, correctly in terms of the residuals. Okay, the EVs has now been zeroed out, and if I take a look at my map view now, you can see that um, there's still some gap between me and the target vehicle. It's still ahead of me, but if I now move to the other side of our orbit, our apogee should now be matching the uh, apogee of our target vehicle. And the same with time, we should arrive at the apogee uh, at the same time as the uh, target vehicle reaches this uh, point in space. So that basically means that we should be rendezvousing uh, with the target vehicle. Now, uh, there's going, there is going to be some differences between uh, your actual position. So this is something that we will need to kind of burn off in the end. So now I'm going to hit a 5 and get back into the cockpit. And I'm going to continue to uh, go through my checklists. So my avias is now 0. You can go ahead and close uh, this one. Uh, always reset your computer after a burn. It seems like we're getting into uh, the morning view as we completed our burn, which means that our rendezvous should be in daylight. So I can now use score 73 to uh, see the time in seconds until uh, I reach uh, Apogee. And this is, uh, my computer will need to be uh, in, um, uh, be running for me to actually see this. And uh, this mode here uh, shows me that Core 73 is the time left to Apogee. Uh, but what we will do is to plan another rendezvous burn. So now if I uh, go into uh, the burn tool and mission tools and uh, request AP circulation burn. So what we want to do is to uh, circulate our orbit Roger, DCS. at Apogee. So this mean, basically means that once we're at Apogee, we will need to perform another burn to raise our perigee so it matches the target vehicle's perigee. If not, we would probably uh, rendezvous but then I would quickly kind of drift away and uh, go ahead of it, the target vehicle and then end up uh, far ahead uh, once I reach Apogee the next time. So that's not ideal. We will need to make sure that uh, we close the gap between our orbits and match the velocities uh, so that our, my orbit is the same as the target vehicle orbit. And that requires a secondary burn and that's the uh, uh, rendezvous burn 2. So, uh, if I now go into my checklists, uh, I will not follow this one, I just uh, know about it. Then uh, everything that we will need to do is to do exactly the same that we did for the rendezvous burn in terms of uh, preparing everything for the burn itself. So uh, I've requested the burn and I should now receive a new pad. So I go into Mission Tools, uh, Data Forms, and I'll uh, clear my pan, pad. And this is uh, going to be my uh, uh, AP circulation burn. 
and uh, RCS OBC. And this is going to happen at uh, 15 hours and 20 minutes into the mission. And then uh, I will be using the stamps for the next one. Uh, four, nine, 66. So at 15 hours, 20 minutes and uh, 49.66 seconds, we should be at Apogee. At Apogee, we will do a prograde burn of plus 69.2. So 69.2 feet per second. And it's going to be a burn that lasts for 34.62 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, clear. And uh, then I will uh, verify my data, 15 hours, 20 minutes, 49.66, 69.2. And it's always good to uh, check that core 26 and 27 are all zero or else you will be having a wrong burn vector. So now uh, I've set up the burn and I'll hit start on the computer and I will be getting a new uh, burn vector. And it's currently showing me up 28 and aft 62. That is, if I would be doing the, the burn in this attitude, uh, then this uh, uh, the IVS would be zero, uh, need to be zeroed out in the aft and the upwards direction. But since I'm now 180 degrees uh, away from my burn point, uh, this will, and I will maintain my prograde, this will shift as I get towards the uh, burn point. So everything should kind of gather up in the forward direction here. So uh, now I'm going to uh, turn on my OMS and get back to uh, the checklist. Uh, I will wait for um, my burn to complete but uh, one thing that we will then need to do is to turn on the radar it's currently in standby then we could see our distance uh, towards um, the uh, target vehicle so i'm going to go ahead and just set the radar to on uh, to kind of monitor that uh, to visualize this for you as you see that i close in there's a couple of other things that I'm going to do a little bit ahead of time just uh, for the sake of uh, showing you how a rendezvous is, is happening in, in re-entry. And uh, once I've set the radar to on, uh, you can see that I have lock on. This means that I've, uh, uh, I'm able to kind of start to communicate uh, with the target vehicle. So now I'm going to uh, set the event timer. I'm going to hit stop and I'm going to increase this up to 10 minutes. And then I will decrease the tenth and seconds. And then hit down and standby. You can see that it's now counting down just to verify that and then I'll hit stop at the right time. Okay, it's now set to 10 minutes and then I'll use 83 to uh, help me reach the 10 minute point. I think typically this should be about 20 minutes ahead of the burn. And there we go. Start. And now, uh, everything there is uh, left to do is to uh, wait for the burn to uh, execute. And uh, if I now look at my orbit view, you can see that I'm getting closer and closer to uh, the target vehicle. 
you can also see that on the range here, I'm closing in uh, on the needle here. And uh, the small needle shows me the uh, rate that I'm closing in on the target. So you see that I'm currently closing in on the target. And the target is about 3,000 feet per second away. So now this is going to be closing in on me quite rapidly. So this is why it's important to perform the secondary burn, or else it would be kind of just flying past me uh, very quickly. Now our orbits should be quite matched. It's like this, so I'll bring this down just to find you. It doesn't really matter that much uh, because right now I know where it is and I know how far it is away from me. And uh, I also have a way to find it because my radar is green and uh, I can switch my attitude indicator to radar. So. Uh, I'll turn on my encoder first. The encoder is used to send messages to Agena to perform some commands. And the first command that I'm going to be doing is uh, 251. So I'll set the outer dial to 2, the inner dial to 5, and the last one, which can normally contain a 0 and a 1, to 1. This basically sends, transmits uh, 251 to Agena. And this will uh, perform some actions on board the Agena. There's a list in the checklists, but this is the acquisition lights. So now I'm going to uh, set the attitude uh, indicator to radar. And uh, notice these pointers here. They are now showing me direction to uh, Agena. Then I'll switch my computer to rendezvous and uh, wait for it to load. But while this is loading, I will be catching up and closing in with the target vehicle. And once I'm close enough for docking, uh, I will go ahead and prefer, perform those maneuvers. So um, now I will be uh, switching over to RAID command. And I will try to find Agena and center it in my window. And now if I look out my window, uh, you can see that Agena is in front of me with its acquisition, acquisition light uh, blinking. And if we take a look at our orbit, you can see that we are here and our orbits are now perfectly matched. So uh, if we would time scale now, we would uh, be um, in kind of similar positions relative to each other. But of course, not 100 percenters always drift. So currently, uh, on our external view, we're in daylight, and we are going to uh, perform our rendezvous. And we'll try to do that uh, before it gets dark. But it doesn't really matter, because we have lights, and I'm going to show you how that works. So now, uh, while I'm waiting for my computer module to load the rendezvous module, I'm going to close in with my target. So I have it here in front of me, and I will be burning directly towards it. Now I can use my uh, radar here. You can see that the rate is going in the positive direction, which means that I'm closing in on the target. If it would be on the other side, I will be uh, I would be uh, uh, kind of driving away from the target. And you can see that the needle is now 
slowly coming towards me. So now I'll just use the radar, but also my visual, to kind of try and align myself with the target. And you can put the mouse cursor on it if you want. And if it kind of keeps drifting away from your mouse cursor, you can you can kind of correct slightly. Uh, you can also see that uh, Agena is kind of upside down. And if you know Agena, there is an antenna that kind of sticks up. So I would like to uh, align myself so my up direction is the same as Agena. So right now you can see that this acquisition light is uh, it's uh, a little bit annoying, so I'm gonna um, go ahead and turn that off. And this is done um, by setting to, I think it's 250. And I would turn that off. You can see that it's now closing in quite fast. So what I want to do now is to start breaking. So then I will try to kind of align it so that I'm stationary ahead of it. And I'm burning a little bit in every direction right now. And now I'm going to change my orientation so that we are matching our attitudes. And then I will be uh, trying to maneuver a little bit ahead of it. And this is uh, an okay uh, attitude uh, for uh, going to the next phase. I've now rendezvoused with the target vehicle and I'm ready to perform the docking itself. And you can see that I'm now entering night side. And uh, in the next video, I'm going to do uh, the docking itself and, uh, uh, and uh, make sure that I'm uh, correctly aligned uh, with Agena and follow those procedures. So with that, I hope that you enjoyed uh, this video and uh, that you will be able to use this information uh, to perform your own rendezvous burns in re-entry. I know that the procedures was a little bit complex, uh, but um, it's once you've done a few burns, a few circularization burns, you get the practice in, uh, you are ready to start rendezvousing. And uh, everything that you need to make sure is that you're in a circular orbit before requesting a rendezvous burn. Uh, you're orbit inclination uh, is matched. If they do not match, perform a plane ch change burn. I have another video on how to perform circularization burns and another one on performing uh, uh, a plane change burn. So uh, you can both uh, perform the circularization plane change to make sure that your orbits are matched. And once you're in matching orbits, you can go ahead and perform the final uh, matching piece, which is to bring apogee and perigee to the same point so that you arrive at a certain point in orbit at the exact same time and then be able to equalize your orbits to maintain your stable position. So with that, uh, thank you for watching. Please give me feedback in the comments below and uh, hit that uh, like and subscribe button. Thanks again for watching.